We're here at the NEC looking at the very latest in camper vans and motorhomes, all the brand new models from the Airvin Heimer Group. Nine brands to cover. That's Eldis, Compass, Heimer, Detlefs, Burstner, Sunlight, Corrado, Etrusco and Leica. We're all of them with new models and everything from camper vans to A-classes. One of the most exciting developments from Eldis this year is this Encore 250, a 7.4 metre island bed motorhome based on a Fiat Ducato now, so you can have it as an automatic. It's got strong light, high strength aluminium sides in this nice champagne gold colour. Alloy wheels are an option, but most things on this top of the range model are indeed standard, including Audi 24 hour programmable central heating. This one's got the optional Hypnos mattress, which will give you domestic levels of comfort when you're touring. And here, the bed has actually been slid back to give you a lot more foot space, walking room around the bed during the daytime. Now, the kitchen is fully equipped with a big fridge freezer, separate grill and oven, and a mains hot plate as well. And then you move forward into the lounge area where there's active care upholstery, new for 20. 20, that's pet friendly, so if your dog comes too, as often they do in a motorhome, well that's a great new feature. And the other thing to note is, although these settees look very much set up for relaxing on site, underneath each of these sofas is a travel seat that folds up so you can carry four people on the road to match the four birds that this motorhome has. Here we have Deathless on a Mercedes Sprinter, the latest rear wheel drive Sprinter. Three and a half tonnes of standard and under seven metres long. Now this one's actually been upgraded to 4.1 tonnes for more payload and it's also got the assistance package and the style package fitted to it. Now that takes the price over £80,000 but you save £3,000 if you buy one at the show. Now take a look at it, it's got the silver sides and the black cab as part of that style package. And then you go in through this extra wide habitation door. The UK spec on this Globe line includes all sorts of things that aren't standard on the German market version. Everything from the carpets, the over cab sunroof, central locking on the habitation door, the 10 and a quarter inch MBUX display that Mercedes do so nicely on the dashboard. Then, as you step through, it's got a lovely modern ambiance, but not, not cold, it's, it's nice and inviting. Another feature that's standard for the UK is this oven and grill. A tall fridge freezer there, uh, bathroom on the other side with a separate shower in there. And then as you come back through the vehicle, you step up to these good sized, very comfortable single beds. And if you need more than two beds, there's an electric drop down bed as an option over the front lounge. If you're looking for a compact motorhome with lots of storage and lots of payload, how about this Corrado V132? It's on a three and a half ton Fiat Ducato, but with a payload of up to 950 kilos and a big garage area at the back too. Now it's really super compact, this little coach built, because it's not only under six metres long, but it's only 2.14 metres wide, so not much wider than a van conversion. Look at the standard mirrors, because the body doesn't stick out much beyond the cab. And this vehicle, with quite a high spec on it, quite a number of options, is still only just over £42,000 on the road. This is a bit of a classic continental layout with a half donette lounge and a transverse double bed mounted high over that garage at the back. Moving back through the van, the kitchen has a good amount of worktop on either side of this combined cooker and sink unit. Three burners on the hob and then down here you've got an oven and grill as well. Ladder takes you up to the good sized double bed across the back and there's a wardrobe underneath. But perhaps one of the star features for such a small vehicle is this really well designed bathroom with a swing wall shower. Just pull that across and you've got a proper shower cubicle. Compass, like sister brand Eldis, came back into the camper van or van conversion market a year ago with two models. Now there's a third, the CV60. Still in the six metre Fiat Ducato panel van, so nice and manoeuvrable on the road. 
and this one with the Lux Pack alloy wheels and the metallic paint is still only just a fraction over £44,000 on the road. But the really interesting thing about the CV60 is the layout, so let's look at that. You won't have seen anything quite like this before. You've got a nice sofa come day bed here that simply pulls out to make a full size double. You've got the Hypnos mattress here as an option too for even more comfort and a convenient dresser area alongside. Then moving forward through the van, 90 litre fridge mounted really conveniently up at eye level. Good kitchen for a small van too. Three burner hob, oven and grill and thanks to this plenty of worktop. Positive locking cupboards and then well a neat little use of the cab area as somewhere to have your dinner. This is the XV edition version of Sunlight's T68. XV because Sunlight's celebrating its 15th anniversary this year and the XV edition gives you over £11,000 worth of extra kit included in an on-the-road price that's still under 60 grand. You get the black cab, the silver sides, the awning, satellite dish and loads more. The multimedia pack with reversing camera and the chassis packs are standard, as is this rather nice duo finish upholstery. Now it's a classic continental twin bed layout with this sort of L-shaped uh, L-shaped settee arrangement and a separate seat by the door. You come back and there's an L-shaped kitchen, 167 litre giant fridge freezer at a nice convenient height. The oven and grill are standard in this van. And then you step up slightly into the ensuite bedroom area. You step down into the shower, so that's got masses of headroom. And then if you're tall, just look at how long these single beds are. I think I could go to bed in a top hat in this one. The Lysio M Harmony line marks the return of a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter to the Burstner range. Two models, this 660 with a French bed and a 690 with twin singles. Both are a fraction under seven metres long and on the rear wheel drive Mercedes Sprinter available with the manual or automatic seven speed gearbox. You come in through an extra wide habitation door and the first thing to seduce you is this Mercedes dashboard with the large MBUX 10 inch display on the face here there. Other things to note is, well there's no handbrake, it's an electronic parking brake now so there's nothing to get in the way of swivelling the cab seats. And on this vehicle, because it's an automatic, there's not even any gear stick in the way. Moving back through the vehicle, well you've got a fully appointed kitchen with nice oven and grill unit, plenty of worktop. And one thing they've really done on this French bed layout is to try and improve the floor area at the foot of the bed and in the kitchen area. So this angled wardrobe makes access to this side of the bed rather easier than before. Good size bed too. And then if you're talking about good size, well, just look at the space in this washroom. Loads and loads of room in here. And then, well, swing the wash basin out of the way. And I doubt if you'll find a bigger shower than this anywhere in the show. If you're looking for a real top end luxury motorhome combined with Italian style, how about this Leica Creos 5009? Based on a Fiat Ducato with the Alco chassis, you can have it plated at four to 50 kilos or even up to four and a half ton. And to take advantage of all that weight, there's a massive garage area at the back that alone can take 250 kilos. Of course, it's got a double floor for full winterization and Audi heating as well. So wherever you're going, summer or winter, this will cope. New for 2020 is the fact that this is the Portofino edition, named after that yachting paradise on the Med. Well, that's the image that this vehicle aims to portray. And of course, it's been developed for the UK with a very, very high spec to suit our market. Inside, you've got the double floor, so there's no steps from the cab right through the lounge and kitchen areas. And then plenty of headroom too, up to 2.1 metres, because the drop-down bed, electric drop-down bed, is actually very neatly concealed in the headlining. 
Moving back into the kitchen area, you've got a 160 litre fridge freezer, and then these wonderful domestic style Corian worktops. Lots of pull out storage, all very nicely designed. Even the Corian worktop for the draining board. Moving back through, well, it's still very much luxury. Look at this domestic style blue lit shower. You don't see that sort of thing very often in a motorhome. And then when you come back into the bedroom, sliding door to shut the whole thing off and padded headboard, twin single beds, wardrobes under the foot of each bed. And of course, that massive garage area under here too. A vehicle for long-term touring, whatever the weather. Two years ago, this was just a concept. Now it's in production and you can take delivery of one early in 2020. It's the brand new Heimer Duo Car S, a brand new van conversion by Heimer and it's under six metres long and designed very much for two people, hence Duo Car. Two travel seats only, the ones in the cab and two birds. But it does pack a lot into a sub six metre, three and a half tonne van. The differences start right at the back where you've got wash basin on one side, wardrobe on the other. And the loo, well that slides out from underneath. But then come through the sliding door and you'll be amazed at the feeling of space. There's lots of kitchen worktop, lots of good practical storage and of course this really long settee. Plenty of room to put your feet up. Not only that, but this just pulls out simply to make a double bed. And, well, the TV's enormous, that just twists for viewing. And, well, the fridge, not only can you get at it from outside, but you can open it from either side. The newest brand within the Erwin Heimer Group is Etrusco, and they're here at the NEC for the very first time with a selection of models. This A-Class, the I7400QB, well that's an island bed model. Opposite, you've got uh, a low profile, similar sort of size, again with an island bed, but that one's got parallel settees in the latest fashion. Then over here, well, if you need a big family motorhome, this one's got a very large overcab Luton and a big garage at the back. Plenty of space for all the family. Something a bit more compact, this little six metre model might be just the thing. Or if you want twin beds, they've got that covered too.